Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited. We are officially starting the kitchen makeover. This is day one. It took us about five days. So I will take you guys along in each video to show you how it all comes along. We're also gonna be doing a nice morning routine. Uh, kids are still in school, so I thought I'd take you guys along with me for a whole day in the life. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson. I am a mom of four and I love to do all things cooking, cleaning, and decorating, and now home DIYs. If you would like to subscribe, I would love it if you would. And if you are returning, it is so great to see you. Okay, let's jump into this beautiful day. I typically get up around 5 a.m. in the morning. Today it's around 6-ish. I'm finally hitting the kitchen and I just wanna show you how beautiful the lights look. This is the new halo light that we just got and installed. It's actually really easy to install. We took the fan out of here just cause we didn't need it. There's a great cross ventilation in this room and I will link it down below if you guys are interested. It is just beautiful. I wanted to create something very glamorous and beautiful. I didn't wanna have so much of a farmhouse kind of Tuscan feel in this space. I think it turned out beautiful. And we also got the pendant light tongue. To get started on this day, in the past video I had right before this one, I had set everything out the night before. So we are gonna just get rolling with the morning. I'm gonna be making some pancakes. I've got some hot cocoa going for the kids. I absolutely love this little um, quick coffee and hot cocoa maker I'll link it down below as well but we are going to be doing some bento box today we're going to be making a nice breakfast and then we are going to start our kitchen makeover I love to start the morning with some beautiful classical music I like to turn the fireplace on and I love to light some ambient beautiful smelling candles I just think it really sets the tone and I also go and try to find where the elves have moved the night while we were sleeping and it looks like they are hanging out with Santa today. Okay guys, let's get cooking breakfast. Since I woke up a little bit late this morning, it was nice that I had everything kind of set out, but I woke up a little bit late because I've been under the weather and I'm gonna be rushing. Usually I like to make the breakfast, then do the lunches while the kids are eating, but I didn't have that luxury this morning, so we are gonna have to hustle through both. So I've got pancakes going on behind me and now I'm gonna start the kids' lunches. This particular day, the kids get to pick exactly what they get as their main. So I've got peanut butter and jellies, I got a ham sandwich, and then the girl wanted to have a Nutella sandwich, which I don't typically like to give them, but it is their choice. So that's what we're going with today. I thought I would cut them into little Christmas uh, cookie cutter shapes, which makes it fun. My three youngest still don't like crust. Um, I don't, I sometimes cut it off because otherwise they just send it back home in the box, but otherwise I just cut it off and I feed it to the chickens and they seem to love it. But we're gonna hustle through this morning and get everything ready and on the table. The kids are upstairs getting ready with my husband and I am just gonna put together a nice healthy lunch. Tell me in the comments down below, do you guys use bento boxes? I really love using them. I will link all of mine. I get lots of questions on them um, when I do show this on my channel. I showed it a lot last year and I will do a whole lot more in 2023. We've just been going through a lot of transitions recently. So I will link those down below, but I love doing bento boxes, which is basically just compartmentalizing what your kids are eating. So in each one of these little cups, I put some fruit or vegetables or snacks in there and it just kind of has um, a nice portion to it and keeps the kids focused on what they're eating. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys use those too.
For today's lunch, I went with some cucumbers. I'm also going to do some apples and grapes. I always put things in here I know the kids will eat. I don't try to get too creative with things like broccoli. Even though half our kids really love broccoli, I know they won't eat it if I put it in their lunch. So for me, the most important thing is to pack the kids' lunch with healthier choices, but also things I know they're going to eat. I wouldn't put a bunch of things in here. Like I know my kids don't like blackberries except for one child, so I'm going to put blackberries in hers, but then fill up the other kids with food. I try not to be um, a little bit too unrealistic about what I put in there because otherwise it'll come back empty and my kids will be hungry and the food will go to waste. The kids typically like things like celery, carrots, um, cucumbers, you know, simple things like that. They like hummus and pita bread. Um, just little, like try to find healthy choices, but don't feel like you have to put healthy choices in there just to have them be healthy. Even if your kids aren't going to eat them, try to put things in there that you know that they're going to love. I'm also going to add some peanut butter to their, um, lunch pails. That way they have a little protein to dip their apples into. But now that I have all the pancakes done, I usually just chop them all up at one time and then scoop them onto a plate. And then I'm going to add some fresh fruit. I did honeydew today. I had a couple extra kiwis left. And then I'm going to do some fresh fruit on here because if I don't use it today, I think this fruit's going to go bad. So we're going to definitely pile that on today and get the kids fed and get on with our morning. So here's everything I packed today. I had some grab and go snacks for the kids recesses and after school. The kids have been eating fruit snacks from their friends lunches at school so I just decided to buy them and put them in there on Fridays. I thought that'd be nice for the kids. But then I'm going to add them to the little kids backpacks. It just helps cut down on the morning. I know a lot of people say my kids should be doing this on their own but frankly getting four kids out of the house only to realize that somebody forgot their lunch isn't really what I was looking for for this day. So I went ahead and just put it in their bags while they were upstairs getting ready. I got the kids out the front door and now I'm gonna start prepping the kitchen for our kitchen makeover. So if you guys follow me on here or especially if you're on my Instagram, you've actually already seen all of this, but we went ahead and moved about three months ago into a home that was more conducive for a large family. And um, this is the original kitchen I have wanted to do a lot in here, but what I will tell you is we are eventually going to be gutting a large portion of this house. Um, but it's going to be at least a year and a half before we can do that. I kind of still want to live in it for at least a year before we start to decide kind of what walls we're going to take down and move things around. But I obviously don't want to live with this kitchen between now and then. So what I've decided is we are going to actually go through here and paint the cabinets and the countertop. So we're going to get started on that today. Okay guys. So here we are. Kids just left. And this is what we got going on today. So I got a bunch of garbage I need to take out or my husband can do. But today we are officially starting the kitchen project. It is December 12th and my hope is to have this done in the next 10 days. I, I think we're gonna do the countertops. I was gonna wait till January, but I'm, I think we're gonna do it anyway. So what we're gonna do today is use um, some Dawn and hot water, just wipe everything down. I think what my husband's gonna do is come through, actually take all of these off, and um, 
And then basically what you do with these, if you're gonna take them off, just label each one of these. So this is cabinet one, and then you have a red solo cup or whatever, and then put a Sharpie that says one on it. And then, you know, these obviously don't need to be, to come off. This is pretty easy to paint around. Um, so we're gonna do that. I think I've got, I think I've got a bunch of cups in here. If not, I can run to the store. Let's see. Yeah. I probably don't have enough, but. So then we'll label these. Um, once that's done, I think we'll just um, start from one end of the room to the next end of the room and just paint like maybe I'll, you know, we'll just, my husband will start on that end, go that way. I'll go this way. The only thing I'm a little nervous about is like how to get in here. Um, sorry. <laughs> so that's going to be, I may just not paint in there. Um, that be fine, but do you see all this grease? It's gonna take a hot minute to get all this off. So that's today's project. And then once this is done, I suspect it'll take a day or two. I think this kitchen will be done probably by Wednesday. It's Monday right now. Then we will start the countertop project, which I will go into in another video about because this product is amazing. I've done like a thousand tutorials on it, so I'm really excited to see how it turns out. But anyway, so this is today's project. I am so excited. Let me show you guys the stairs. We finished this, well, my husband finished it. This is the part I did yesterday. I'm sorry, this was like last week. And then he finished the rest yesterday. So the stairs are officially done and it just turned out beautiful. This paint is amazing. Um, hey, Mims. Wanna say hi? Wanna bite your tree? Don't you? Don't bite it. Don't do it. Don't you bite that tree? Don't you do that? I know you just love to bite it, don't you? Yes, you do. I'm watching you always biting all the trees. I know. She hasn't been getting in the trees recently. Huh. You gonna bite that tree? You gonna do it? We got a lot to do today, guys. All right, I'm going to get some paint clothes on and I will see you guys back here in a bit. So here is one last look at the original kitchen. This is exactly how the house came. We haven't done anything to this space at all. Eventually this is gonna look very different even after the next week, but I wanted to give you guys just an overview. So we're gonna paint all of these counters. We're gonna paint all of the cabinets. We're gonna put new hardware on and we already have these beautiful new lights on. I've been wanting to do these lights for a long time. I may even bring another set of those over to the Victorian because they're just so beautiful. But the first thing you wanna do is just get a nice bowl of hot water, add some Dawn dish soap, and get a rag and we're just gonna go through and degrease all of these counters and all of the surfaces in here. I'm gonna be using a product called Beyond Paint, which I absolutely love. It's the only paint I really like to use. There's no stripping, sanding, and you don't need primer. You just put the paint right on and you're ready to go. I'm gonna be using three coats. Since this is an oak um, material, since this, the cabinets are oak, it's gonna probably end up bleeding, so make sure you have enough. I ordered two gallons. I ended up only needing one gallon for this area, but you might wanna pick up two, but I'll get into that in a minute. Okay guys, so now we have all the cabinets washed and we took the hardware off because we have new hardware coming. Um, and my husband's just removing all the doors. Once we have, while he's doing that, we're gonna go around and start taping all of this type of stuff.
A couple pieces of advice I'd give you guys if you are going to be repainting your kitchen in 2023 or any time that you're finding this video is I ended up not taping off a large portion of our countertops because I knew that I was going to be painting them anyway. So if, or if you are going to be getting new countertops or painting your countertops, just bear in mind that the reason I didn't tape them off is because I knew I was going to be painting them with a white material. So it didn't matter to me if I got paint on them or not. I do end up cleaning it off just because I want a nice, beautiful, clean surface to put the um, paint and marbling on anyway. But for the most part, just keep that in mind because uh, I didn't tape everything off because I didn't need to. The next thing I want to do is get our paint ready. This is the Beyond Paint material. It's very thick and a little bit goes a very long way. You'll see I get half this kitchen painted with just this little bit here. I barely even took a dent out of this can. So just put a little bit in there and I'm going to be using a couple different brushes today. I'm going to be using a two inch angular brush. Make sure to always put your gloves on because I have my nails done and I didn't want to ruin them. Um, this paint comes off very easily though so don't worry about that. I had it all over my body and was able, able to get it out in the shower no problem. But I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using just a sponge brush and I'm also going to be using a roller. I like to roll the surfaces that are flat but since there's so much detail in this kitchen I needed multiple different types of brushes to get into all these little places. I'm just going to go one little section at a time make sure I cover everything and since the inside of these cabinets were also white and it matched perfectly I didn't feel it necessary to tape them off either but again use it at your discretion depending on what you have in your kitchen but what we're going to do is just go around this whole area and get everything painted I would definitely advise you to do um, different layers when you're doing these uh, drawers so start at the bottom pull that all the way out then do the top and then let them dry out like that I'd love to know in the comments down below what projects you have planned for 2023 or whichever year you are watching this video. I have quite a few different things I want to do. I definitely am excited to get the kitchen done because cooking is my love language and I spend majority of my time in this space. But I'd love to know in the comments down below what you guys have planned for the new year. And this is how much paint I've used so far. To get the first layer on this kitchen took me about three hours. By the time that I got to the end of the kitchen, the other end was dry, so I will be going back over it with another coat. I didn't film every coat because, well, it's kind of quite boring to watch paint dry, but I did go over this three times, and then in another video, we'll be painting the island. I asked you guys on my Instagram if you think I should paint it white or black, so tell me in the comments down below if you would like us to paint it white or black. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and definitely subscribe for more. So here is how the first coat turned out. My husband is in the garage painting all the fronts and backs of the cabinets. Um, that is a serious job. So if you can get help, I would suggest one person tackle the kitchen, one person tackle the cabinet faces. But here is how everything turned out. I did end up getting a little bit of paint on the countertops, but we're gonna clean that up. I'll show you what I use here in a second, but everything looks great. 
Um, another piece of advice, I would put one coat on and then take a look at how it's bleeding through. Some of these areas didn't bleed at all. Other areas, you can see a lot of yellowing coming through. Like right here on this side, it starts to really bleed through. So I may even need to do four coats on that, but definitely take a look at whatever it is you're painting over and adjust as needed. Here's our little mess. I'm gonna be using a degreaser by Mr. Clean and a little bit of a Brillo pad and it comes right up. This is such a great product. If you guys wanna check it out, it is linked in the descriptions down below. So here is the room with the second coat on. We're gonna let everything dry overnight and come back in and put the faces back on the um, cabinets. I think it turned out beautiful. I am still stuck on whether to go with black or white for the island. Obviously I wanna go all white like our old house, but I think we're gonna end up doing something different. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Should we paint it black or white or dark blue or what do you think we should paint it? I love how this paint just dries so beautifully. It has a little bit of a sheen to it and just looks so rich and it's so easy to work with. If you guys wanna check out the Beyond Paint products, I will link them at the very beginning of the descriptions down below. It is a wonderful product. If you are looking to do any DIYs in 2023 or whenever you're catching this video, definitely start with Beyond Paint. Okay guys, it's time for me to go to bed and I will see you in the next video for day two of our kitchen transformation. Bye!